Hello friends, my name is Shivam from DevOps Schools and I will help you to enable your learning process in various technologies of DevOps, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data and many more. This is our initiative to help you by sharing multiple tutorials and videos. And if you want any specific tutorials or any particular topic, then please do comment in the below comment section and I will help you with it. Also, please subscribe to our premium services on YouTube which will give you access to more content and videos to enhance your knowledge about all these topics. Also, if you want me to help you with regards to the online trainings and classroom sessions by our qualified trainers, then do please do write me at uh, contact at devopsschool.com. Thank you. So while working with the with the container, doing the development or doing the testing while using the container, you will waste so much of time working with the container. I again see container is saving so much of time, but again I am saying it will waste your time. How? We'll discuss in some time. So you can use Docker Compose. So let's understand that how it can save your time and life. Understand that, guys. <clears throat> Imagine you are a dev, okay? Imagine you are a dev and your product is on SOA concept, service, service oriented architecture. So typically you will have a web server, then app server, and then database server. Okay. Now you are a dev. So you modify the you modify what? You code and you want to test it, but not without a container. You have to test off your image. Yes, you have to test now your image, whether your image is good or not, because you are delivering the image now. You are not delivering the packages. You are delivering the images. So your image is good or not, you have to do that. So here for that, there's a web service, app service, database service. What you will do, you will build. Build of a Docker file, you know that very well. And then after that, you will run. By the way, guys, let me remind you, you run with hyphen P. You run with hyphen E. You run with some name. You run with a volume. You run with environment. You run with a network. You run with many options, guys. All this, you have tried it out already. And after that, you run, build will create image, run will create a container, then you test it, then stop it. And then delete it. Very simple workflow guys. So how many total command you will run in one go? One, 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 one. Here too many some, some options. One, one, one. One, one, one. So all together, 12 commands. Now remember how many times you do the coding and test it. Let's say 20 times in a day. So all together, you will do 240 times these commands you will be running with Docker. This is the one flow guys and only very small workflow, small services. If you are in the microservices, then you are dead. How many commands you have to run, you just imagine. So don't you think so you will get frustrated? What do you think? Just like running so many commands actually. And one important thing, those you, if you are thinking, I will write a shell script, forget about it. Containers, always get different ID, image, always get a different ID and tag. And sometime you want to start some specific container and sometime you want to replace some container. Sometime you want to you want only want to build this or only you want to build this to or everything. So don't you think while working as a dev and QA, you will get frustrated? What do you think? Are you seeing some pain area here? Are you seeing some pain area? 
Oh yeah. So if you are seeing the pain area, guys, then you are at learning the right tool. Actually, Docker Compose is a tool which read a file. A file name is Docker hyphen compose dot yaml. Yes, it's a yaml file. This contains this file contains services. This is the yaml. So of course, services one, services two, services three, like this. Service three, like this. You you just now you see. One, two, three. Which you will have build option and run option with multiple options. For example, build. Image. Environment. Port. Volume. Network. And few more. So guys, each services you will have multiple options build image environment port volume network so build what build a docker file it's an input image to run image name environment port volume and network these services will be having something sim similar Guys, this is your Docker file, which will have all the specification. Now, guys, you want to do in one go everything. So command each Docker compose up. Up will do building and running also, and not one services, all services down. Up again, de de detach mode, and again stop. You want to stop the services. You want to see the start. You want to see the PS. You want to see the logs. So these are the command. One command, and here you can work with the multiple services, and definitely from one uh, from twelve command. You have one command from 20 to 40 command. You have 20 command. So of course, you saving your life. Docker Compose is saving your life. Did you understand this or not? Everyone? So guys, I'm going to show you the demo now of Docker Compose. So guys, look at my screen. You have to do that as well. So I am installing the Docker Compose. So Docker Compose download. Guys, I'll read this document a little bit. It's a good view. Linux. I am going to download this. These all are Linux command. And then give the version. And then soft link. And then check the version. And finally done. Docker Compose installation is done. Now, where to find the YAML file? So guys, you have to create a YAML file. But how? I have a sample file which I'm going to share with you. So you can use that one as well. So, Docker Compose.
guys look at this here look at this here so guys i said you will have services you have a services name of the service is wordpress and database i said each services we have a few options these are those here image no no build option is there port volume environment depends on dv which is here and network which is here so basically they are creating one bridge type network as well and same goes with this here what is this basically so this is the yaml file for running one database and wordpress wordpress is a php based application cms which is a very popular blogging cms in fact you know i think more than 80% of the world's website runs on wordpress yes wordpress so this is the php based application so this wordpress image has a apache wordpress php and all stuff like please enroll our general membership for 399 plan to get access of all the parts along with that you can access our other tutorials such as docker ansible jenkins terraform splunk aws azure and various other devops related premium tutorials with our channel membership if you would have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact@devopschool.com at or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video to get our channel membership click on to the join button select the 399 plan and grow your skills immensely please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching